please welcome Miranda Tetzel. Now, congratulations to you both. You've just had the Melbourne premiere last night. Yeah. How good does it feel to finally have this fabulous work out there and audiences consuming it? Oh, it's it was it's been wild, hasn't it? It's it been amazing. Wasn't it a year ago we shot it? It was a, pretty much a year ago to the day, I'd say. Yeah. We were in Adelaide shooting. And then, uh, yeah, we took it to America first, to Sundance. And that was a weird one because we were worried how, like, an American audience would get it. There's lots of Australian humour in there. Yeah. Yeah, but, they, um, thought they, they might think it's probably a little bit quirky, you know. Oh, those kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, they, they really... Uh, there was something um, that really spoke to them, which I was really surprised about. I was so happy that it translated... I love the congratulations. I love the film. They're beautiful. It's a rom-com, but there's other beautiful messages about home and connection, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. And you co-wrote the film. Yeah. And you tell the congratulations. Thank you. So w w why, when you were working it out, why did you go towards rom-com like, when, you, you know, uh, when you're writing it? Well, the genre really relies on... Um, it's very character-driven. Mm. It really relies on uh, the charisma of um, and the chemistry of, of the two actors. So... Um, I think that was a really great way to kind of speak to something deeper, I think, yeah. and to kind of show just how just how wonderful uh, the, the community I grew up with in the Northern Territory. Yeah. Mm. And that wedding scene of the Tiwi done in language, yeah. and it's, it's amazing. Beautiful. Such a great Thank scene. Thank you. One of the best rom-com scenes. It's just really great. Um, but, Willem, I have to ask you, when you heard about this role, did you know anything about the top end? Uh, uh, I suppose, like, the only thing I knew was, like, you're going to hate me for this, but uh, Crocodile Dundee, I'm yep. ashamed to say. <laughs> no, I, seem to, no. I, I seem to remember there was a lot of kind of characters from Neighbours who, when they left Ramsey Street, went to Darwin. And that's all I knew. That's all I knew of Darwin was this mythical place. Probably all the things that you're trying to dispel in this film, that was my only understanding <laughs> of the top end. So. How does a pasty pom survive those temperatures up there? Uh, slip, slap, slop. Lots yeah, of that. Yeah. Um, slip, slop, slap. Slip, slop, slip, slop, slap. Yeah. Uh, you don't have very to good remember my lines. Do it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You've got to be serious up there. I mean, it's hard making a film anywhere at any mm. time, but doing it in those mm. circumstances, we were in some pretty out there places, quite intrepid oh, places. That, that scenery's unbelievable. Though. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's a big character in the film, I think. Oh, though. absolutely. Yeah. We were invited to um, a very special part of Kakadu National Park. We were, inform we were formally invited by the Bunich clan, so it was really lovely oh, wow. to to be at that place. I, I was I was so... I, I grew up there, and so I was just like, oh, my goodness, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, I took it for granted growing up in the Territory as well, so it was really lovely to see it through Gwilym's eyes because everywhere he went... <laughs> He was just... My jaw was just scraping yeah, on just the floor had to keep going. the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the parents in the movie is from the Tiwi Islands, just like yourself. So showing off your culture to the world must be really important to you, Miranda. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, really, proud of, I'm really proud of where I'm from and the community that raised me. Um, and also um, the, the art and the, the songs and the culture is just so beautiful and quintessentially the territory you you just see that whole backdrop and you see um you also see my family and people think oh wow I'm I'm in such a unique part of the world mm. um and also I think it's just an opportunity for for Aboriginal people to see themselves and go yeah I I I deserve to have those dreams I deserve to be happy and um and I I wanted that so yeah. much well it's certainly delivered on that score um we have to talk about Bohemian Rhapsody while you're here Gwilym okay because um Rami Malek's got a bit like real life. Mm. Freddie gets all the attention instead right. of Brian, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. And it was an amazing portrayal, but I was terrified by how precisely you captured Brian May. Right. I, I was blown away. OK. How much Thank time you. did you... No, no worries. How much time did you spend mm. watching Brian May speak on film... Uh, YouTube is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'd have been able to do this film without it. I mean, I remember watching the Live Aid sequence. Just, uh, I mean, I think I'm probably uh, responsible for half of the views that you see on, <laughs> on YouTube, <laughs> me personally. Um, but yeah, I never get bored of it. I mean, they're just, they're just so kind of mesmerising and engaging. And, yeah, never got bored of watching them. Um, I started out, you know, I was a fan of Queen growing up, but I've become a fanatic now, I think. Okay, it's looking at that, I can't tell if that's the film or it's a YouTube video. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, his wife said the same thing. <laughs> she was a little bit like, whoa, what's Excellent. real? What's, uh... yeah. but... You totally downplayed it, though, because when we first met, oh, when I was in London, you were like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this film. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, what, what film is it? And you were like, oh... 
Um, yeah, no, it's just a... It is a blockbuster. Like, I, think you, <laughs> I think you totally, like, downplayed it. You were very British about it. I don't know. I still said blockbuster. That's still kind of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, blown no, blown the trumpet a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Unless you said it was available at Blockbuster. That's, right. a, yeah. that's, that's a different message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Out there. But congratulations, guys. It's a wonderful film. Yeah. I think this is the kind of film that Australia should be making. And uh, you have nailed it, Miranda and Will. And so congratulations. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Well, Top End Wedding is in cinemas everywhere. May the 2nd. Would you please thank Willem Lee and Miranda Tapsett? <laughs>